In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install LUTs into DaVinci Resolve. There's two ways you can do it. I'll show you both ways, it's pretty easy. This is gonna be the first in maybe a series of videos or maybe just one or two more videos about converting log footage, more specifically Sony S-Log3 into Rec. 709 so that you can have an easier path to color correcting and color grading your footage. So let's just jump over into the computer and I'll show you the process for downloading and installing LUTs into DaVinci Resolve. There are countless log to Rec. 709 conversion LUTs available across the internet. There's all sorts of free versions and there are also paid versions. A good place to start would be just to go to the camera manufacturer's website or just search the internet for X camera Rec. 709 conversion LUT. So just as an example, I'm gonna search Sony Rec. 709 LUT. Right at the top, there is an official page created by Sony with their Sony look profile. So they have an S-Log2 and an S-Log3 conversion LUT available. So we'll just click on that download and you can see all the different cameras that this LUT should work with. I'm looking for something that can work with the A7S III or the FX3. You might notice that those cameras aren't listed here, but they should be similar enough to the FX6 so I'm not really worried about it. LUTs should be in a dot .cube format. So make sure that whatever it is you're downloading is in dot .cube and then it should work fine in DaVinci Resolve. So you can download whichever ones you want. If you want the S-Log2 or the S-Log3 or you want both of them, just click the download button and you know what to do from there, hopefully. I just created a folder called LUTs where my projects live for the most part. So I've got Resolve stuff, LUTs, and projects. And here is the folder that I downloaded from Sony's website. It's called Sony Look Profiles S-Log3. And if you click on it, you actually get four different LUTs here. So we have these on our hard drive. The next thing you wanna do is just come into DaVinci Resolve, open up a project that you wanna work on. I've already got a project open here. And there are two ways, like I mentioned before, that you can do this. I'll show you one. You can hit Shift-9 to open up your project settings, or you can just hit this little gear icon on the bottom right and you're gonna come down to your color management page. And in color management, you've got this lookup tables options here. You have an option to open the LUT folder. So click on that. And that opens up the folder in your computer and this works the same on Windows and Mac where all of the LUTs live that DaVinci Resolve can access. So what you wanna do now is open up another finder or on Windows, open up another file explorer, whatever and then just navigate to where you save the LUTs that you downloaded. You can just drag in this whole folder if you want to, and then it will store them as a folder. You can see they've got Olympus, Panasonic, Red, Sony. All these already exist within DaVinci Resolve. Or if you didn't want all of them, you could just click in that folder and then just drag over the ones that you want. I'm just gonna drag in the whole folder. So that copied that over into the Resolve folder. Just close those out. And then you click Update Lists, and then Save. Now we're gonna jump over into the color page. Up on the top left, if you click up, if you click the LUTs icon or the LUTs tab, that'll open up all the LUTs that you have installed. So now you can see down here, we have the Sony Look Profiles, and this is the one that we downloaded. So there you go. So here's a clip that's in S-Log3. And you can see that we can just double click on these LUTs to apply them to the footage. So the other way you can do it is already in the color page, already have this LUTs tab open. If you right click on any of the LUTs that exist within DaVinci Resolve, doesn't matter which one, you have an option to reveal in Finder. And that opens up the same folder as before. So we're gonna have to do is drag in those LUTs again from our hard drive. And then from here, come up to the top where you have this little folder icon, right click on this and then hit refresh. And then you can see that it loaded in the LUTs right here. Magical. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, if I messed anything up or left anything out, please leave me a comment. I always appreciate it. And as always, thanks for watching the video and maybe I'll see you in another one.